Welcome back to video number three of database clustering. This video we are going... I have way too much energy for midnight. This video we are going to be talking about how you actually go about setting up a database cluster. <laughs> so I'm going to give you all the prerequisite knowledge except the stuff that's coming in the next video which is going to be our last on chalkboard video. But this video is going to be good so stick with it. So unfortunately, setting up a database cluster is not that easy. I mean, it's not like the hardest thing in the world. It just takes some time and some brain scratching. And there's some tools out there that are going to make your life a whole lot easier. One reason it takes so long to set up is not everyone has a bunch of database servers just laying around to set up in a cluster. <laughs> so we got to work around that. And we're actually going to be using virtual machines and we're going to be installing our nodes and we're going to be connecting all those machines into this giant cluster. Because we're going to be using virtual machines, you guys don't got to go buy a bunch of computers and it's going to be completely free. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's first talk about our infrastructure. <laughs> infrastructure. <laughs> we are going to have one node per computer. So we're just going to keep this simple. <laughs> and in order for this to really work, we're going to need at least two nodes. We're also going to need another computer or a virtual machine in this case for our database management system. Consider this your control panel. The reason we are installing this database management system on a computer by itself is for this reason. If we draw out these two nodes and let's say this is the control panel and for some reason this database node has a problem and we lose access to it. Well now not only do we lose access to that node but also our control panel, which gives us access to this node. So it would be better if instead, you know, we had another node down here, which was the control panel for both of these. And that way, if this node goes down, well, now we still have access to this node and our control panel. So the software we are going to be using is Cluster Control. And this is going to automate a lot of the process for us. So actually setting up the cluster is pretty easy. It's more the infrastructure issue with having to set up virtual machines and all that stuff. That's a little bit more complicated. <laughs> but the bright side, it's a learning experience, right? So we're going to have essentially the database management system or cluster control on a computer by itself. And then we're going to have two nodes. Generally, you'll have an odd number of nodes, but for simplicity, I don't really feel like setting up three, but one doesn't really make sense. So <laughs> we're gonna go with two. And these are actually going to be Linux virtual machines. And part of Linux is SSH. And this allows computers to talk with one another. We are going to be setting up SSH on these machines. That way cluster control can communicate with them. So I will go through how to set up all that with SSH so you guys don't have anything to worry about. I am sure you guys know my teaching style. I try to focus on the fundamentals. So the information you learn transfers over to other technologies. So I'm going to try to make this series as general as possible. But that being said, we do need to decide on some different technologies. For example, I decided, oh, we're going to use cluster control. You might be able to do it some other way, but that's what we decided. That being said, my goal is to teach you the principles behind database clustering so you can pick up other software if you need in the future. Some other decisions we are going to have to make is the type of database and also the database clustering technology of choice. A couple more decisions. Back off, son. A couple more decisions we are going to have to make is the database of choice and also the database clustering technology of choice, which is not cluster control. Cluster control is a tool that applies that technology automatically. So we are going to be using a master master topology called Galera. If you were hoping to use a different technology, don't feel like this series is going to be a waste because Galera is a very small piece in this. My goal is to teach you the information needed to help you know database clustering, not Galera. Although Galera is a great tool. <laughs> so that's all I really got for this video. Hopefully that was helpful and you guys understand how I'm going with this series. Don't freak out if, oh, you're not using Galera or, oh, we don't use that cluster control at work. That's not what this series is about. <laughs> so please stick with this series. Hope you guys enjoy it as always. Please, 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 please subscribe. Not that I'm begging or anything, but <laughs> I'm trying to grow this channel and I can't do it without your guys' support. So I thank you for all the support you guys always give me. 
And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you in the next video. See you then. Peace. <laughs> Almost forgot.